In the last video, we discussed how to provide representation for children in your classroom materials. In this video, we'll discuss classroom celebrations and what that should look like in a culturally responsive classroom. Among many early childhood professionals, administrators, and families, there is a debate on whether there should be holiday celebrations in the classroom at all. Then, if you decide you can celebrate, who makes the decision on which ones to celebrate? Which celebrations are represented? Which ones get left out? How will you do it and respect the cultures represented by the children in your classrooms? The goal when choosing to celebrate should be that all of the children in your classroom feel seen and represented in your celebrations. Culturally Responsive Ways to Celebrate Holidays in the Classroom When choosing which celebrations to include in your classroom, it is important to work together with your families to figure out which celebrations are important to them. Then, as with all that we do, we start with the interest of the children. Ask yourself, is this celebration important to the children? Does it meet their needs and interests? Is it a valuable use of the children's time? There are many culturally responsive ways to celebrate holidays in the classroom. Some ways are collecting research from various and multiple sources, focusing on facts and leaving out your own personal beliefs, exploring the language and history of a culture in addition to food, music, and art, connecting children of mainstream American culture to their family's history, which could include a family tree or a virtual field trip to the country of their ancestors. Going beyond the usual hero study. Study heroes that made a huge impact but are less known. Create a classroom calendar and bulletin board highlighting celebrations around the world. And incorporate activities throughout the classroom throughout the day, week, month, and year. Learning about other cultures and celebrations should be continuous for the best learning outcome. The most important outcome of culturally responsive celebrations is that children will feel a sense of belonging. If done well, holiday celebrations can be a wonderful opportunity for children to learn more about others' traditions and customs. They can be a fun and exciting way to begin talking about different cultures as well as important lessons like kindness, gratefulness, and selflessness. Truly inclusive holiday celebrations can help students begin learning about diversity while creating a sense of belonging for all the children. As you strive for a culturally responsive classroom, you may ask yourself, do I see each of you in our celebrations? In order to reach the positive outcome of culturally responsive celebrations, we must keep in mind the barriers. Some barriers to keep in mind are, one, ability to teach the facts without bias or adding personal beliefs. Two, the time to conduct research. Three, keep in mind that some traditions are family-based and may not represent the cultures as a whole. Four, access to materials. It is important to use families and community partners as a resource when gathering materials for your celebrations. So, when choosing which celebrations to include in your classroom, it is important to both do research and work together with your families to figure out which celebrations are important to them. Then, as with all that we do, we start with the interests of the children. Ask yourself, is this celebration important to the children? Does it meet their needs and interests? Is it a valuable use of the children's time? Finally, ask yourself, are there barriers or personal biases I need to address within myself? As you strive for a culturally responsive classroom, you may ask yourself, do I see each of you in our celebrations?